Hey guys, I've just come across the best seed I've ever found in Valheim. I was just generating them randomly now, and then uh, this one popped up, and I couldn't have asked for a better one. And uh, there are a number of reasons for this. So we'll start off, as you can see, all the bosses are pretty close to each other. They only span across two islands, and uh, those islands in themselves are also quite close to each other. As you can see right here, you've got a very, very small bit of water between this island and this island, and that's going to allow you to access basically every boss apart from Ike Fire, which would only take an extremely short uh, journey across the water to get to here. So every boss that you need to access is very close to you and it's not going to be a problem getting to it. So you can see all these orange dots here. These basically are representing tombs and crypts. Every one of these orange dots is a tomb or a crypt. Now, the thing that makes this world really amazing is how many crypts and tombs you have in uh, this main area. If you look down here, these two swamps, as well as the one that holds bone mass, have so many crypts. You've actually got way over 10 crypts that you can explore here. So you're going to have plenty of iron for uh, a good amount of time. As well as that, in the Blackstone Forest, you can see this one's absolutely massive. And uh, you've got loads and loads of crypts and tombs here. And also up here, yeah, you've got the same. Now, it's not just Blackstone Forest and Swamp that we've got. We've also got tons of mountain, which has loads and loads of more resources uh, spread about. Uh, I'd say more than average than you find on a mountain. And uh, <laughs> finally, as well as this, you've got loads and loads of plains in this area as well. So every single biome that you need and all the resources are in these areas around all the bosses. Uh, there's no bad areas really. Uh, you're basically sorted. Okay, so you've got great boss locations, you've got a load of resources in good locations, but uh, there is <laughs> a few more things that make this world that bit more special. So if we scroll up here, you can see we have got a trader in the world, and we've also got a trader pretty much centered between all the bosses, which is super cool because some people have been exploring their worlds for over 50 hours and not found a trader, and right here... As well as having all these bosses and uh, good resources, we also have a trader. So it just makes this that little bit better. But the reason I actually say this is the best seed I've ever come across in Valheim. The reason that this is actually the case is because of this maypole here. So if we look at this whole area and we were to decide the best place to put our base. Um, and I was doing this. I was doing this for a good while. Uh, you'd come across this area here and think, this is basically perfect. Now, when I was doing this, I didn't actually have the maypole active. I didn't know what it was. So I was just seeing this map view. And uh, I still decided on this area as it was bordering the Blackstone Forest here, where I could get all my copper. And uh, it was also very close to the area where there's the shortest journey to the other island. Hence, the shortest journey to get all the swamp resources. So that's great. But the fact is, is even though this area is great on its own and it's near everything you want to be near, it also happens to have a maypole. Now, maypoles are one of the rarest things in this game and uh, some maps don't even have a maypole and these maps are absolutely huge. So the fact that we have one in the center area where we would decide to put our base anyway is literally incredible and I am so lucky to have come across this world. So, for those of you who don't know what a maypole is, and I didn't just a few hours ago, but a maypole will give you plus one energy when you're within a certain vicinity of it. And uh, the best thing is, we're going to make our base in this area anyway, as it is basically the center point of all the areas. And uh, yeah, that will give you a plus one energy boost at all times. Uh, the maypole is not something that you can move or craft yourself. It is something you have to basically hope for. And uh, there'll be a lot of people putting a base near a maypole in an area that is nowhere near as good as this just for the maypole bonuses. The fact is, you can get the maypole bonuses as well as the bonus of being near all these resources and all these bosses. And that's what makes this seed what I believe to be the best seed there is on Valheim so far. And uh, if you find one better, put it in the comments. But uh, let me know what you think of this. I've explored it myself and it really is as good as it sounds. So... Jump in, play, and uh, let me know what you think. But uh, that'll be all. I'll see you in the next one.